Mike Stanton. It's September 8th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for taking some time. Thanks, Mike. Uh, first time we've been on the air in two weeks. Uh, not a ton of change in the muni market. Uh, yields have been relatively flat since then. There has been some economic data. What are the markets seeing? Sure. So the market was definitely a little bit quieter post the holiday weekend. It seems like people are kind of continuing to digest the economic data as the September Fed meeting gets closer to us. Um, so last Friday, the jobs report came out at 187,000 versus the estimate of 170,000. We also saw the unemployment rate rise to 3.8% from 3.5%. And then this week, initial jobless claims came out at 216,000, which was actually the lowest since February. And then I think looking to next week, it's kind of, you know, the market's going to be focused on watching CPI and PPI as that's kind of the last piece of data prior to that meeting. But I think as of right now, it seems that the Fed is going to be pausing um, as we move into the September meeting. And the new issue market was also relatively quiet over that period, not a ton of transactions priced. Uh, Bam had a couple of uh, standout transactions over the last two weeks. What did you see? Sure. So the new issue calendar this week was right around $9 billion, but it was pretty concentrated in a couple um, larger transactions. So we saw the CalGeo deal and also the Port Authority deal. But here at BAM over the last couple of weeks, we priced about $140 million over 14 series. So just a few deals kind of that we highlight here are uh, there was a $45 million West Des Moines Community School District in Iowa, which was bought by R.W. Baird. And then there was $27 million North Lake Municipal Management District number one in Texas, which was across two series that was bought by Loop and Zamco. Great. So thanks for recapping that. Morgan, we'll uh, talk to you next week. We'll uh, be back with some more information about how that inflation data actually plays out and what the market will be watching for when the Fed meets again. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Mike. You too.